Hey guys, Rain from Rain Tech Rain. I want to do a short little video today on setting up your transducer mount to your connecting rod, 3600 series mount to a connecting rod um, for trolling motor. Many people will order one of the 3600 series mounts by themselves with a pole adapter with a connecting rod already attached to it. Um, quick disconnect, of course, comes off. Um, but then many others will order a connecting rod separately down the road or an extra connecting rod. Um, down the road in a different order. When that happens, um, I physically am not setting the two up in-house basically to uh, be a perfect match. Every day when I put these things together, I physically am matching your mount to the connecting rod. The fitting of everything on the aluminum fixtures that I make, these pieces are basically A1. They're nice and tight, holes are perfect. Um, the issue comes with the actual clevis pins. These are an extruded stainless steel. The variance is different all the time, basically. And because I'm not making these, I physically have no control over them. So what I have to do is tweak the pin to actually fit the mount. Um, sometimes if you get connecting rod, you look at the pin, it'll have a little bit of a tweak to it. That's perfectly normal. That's actually me doing that. And I'm gonna show you today how to do that. So when you order one separately, or even if you think yours is loose over time, you can tighten it up and make it work perfect. So I'm going to zoom the camera in here and I will show you how that's done. All right, so here we go. So we got the pin in there and you can see it's just very loose. And that's because these pins, like I say, are extruded and they're not round. If you take the caliper on it, they change the dimension when you turn it around. Um, just the nature of the beast. And like I say, I don't make them, so I can't uh, confirm their tolerances and all that. But uh, so this is what we do. So we're going to tweak that pin. So we got to take a magic marker. I use a Sharpie here. And what you're going to want to do, you put the clevis pin. So it's kind of down like this. I like to run the clevis pin flat against the connecting rod when I uh, do it. And you're going to take the Sharpie marker and right at the top, you're going to make a mark just like so. So here you can see the line that I just put on. So what we're going to want to do is bend this pin upwards. It's going to be bent up towards me. So this line, you're not going to be able to see when we do this. So what you want to be able to do is take that line and on the exact opposite side, make a line going right down the pit. So now I have two lines. I got the line that was on the top and one on the bottom. And uh, what I like to do, I use a just a piece of aluminum that I have kicking around. Um, and uh, you can also just do this on the workbench and I use a pair of vice grips. And I basically set my vice grips up so they're really light with compression. And you go to the end and you make that line, that new line, the wider, longer line that's on the bottom side, you make that facing upwards. That's right here. And you go in about half an inch, three quarters of an inch. And all you're going to do is tighten the vice grips down. And that was too light. It didn't even do anything. So I'm going to tighten my vice grips up a little bit. And the less, the better on this. It's trial by error. You don't want to go too much. If you over bend it, you can bend it back with a hammer. That's no problem. So there we go. And, uh, you can start to see a little bit of a tweak in it. It's going this way. Let's put it through. And it's not doing anything. That wasn't uh, enough yet. So trial and error. Tighten the vice grips up a little bit. Make that line going upwards. And I do this basically every single time I put a mount together. Um, so if you're buying a connecting rod separately, um, this is what uh, you may want to do. So here, I can just start to feel that putting tension on the mount. So I'm going to go probably one little bit of a turn more. Trial and error. Line facing upwards. That definitely put a tweak in it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but uh, it's uh, definitely got a bit of a tweak. That's what you want. Put it back in. And that was actually too much. So that's not a bad thing, because now we've got to take a little bit of that out. So we're going to go to the opposite side and just 
push a little bit down on it. There we go, it's going right straight through, and it's actually, you can feel it locking, but not too much. So I took too much of it that time again. There we go. So there it actually locked into position there. When you put it down, you can feel it get real tight and now it's snug, it doesn't go anywhere at all. Um, so basically it's just putting that little bit of a tweak in there. It pops out, once you get it, when it slides in, it goes in perfectly in the side and you just turn it like so and that locks it into position there. So that basically is how you adjust the pin to your connecting rod. Um, another way you can do this, and I don't have a hammer on me, is you can take that line, and if I just look at my power pliers here, you could actually put it on the line on your workbench, and just tap, tap, tap. And that uh, would work actually really well. I'll do one with another pin that I have here, just to show you this. There's a pin there. So we're gonna take the Sharpie marker, put the line there, line on the opposite side of the marker. Then what we're gonna do, a bit of a tap. Oh, that one was bang on. That's perfect. Just enough tension, you can still move it nicely, and it goes in, and that is rock solid there. And when you pull it, it comes right out. So you can do it with the vice grips or with a hammer, or I just have that uh, pair of pliers, and uh, that locks in very solid. So those are two options for setting up the pin. Like I say, you really only have to do this if you're buying a connecting rod separately from me, um, because I physically can't match that individual one up to, uh, your pin up to the connecting rod or vice versa. So that's how you set up and tweak the pin to uh, make it all work for you. Thanks a lot guys.